Okay, so I just did my first uh, Walgreens order. I decided to take a morning shift, which is unusual for me when I'm trying something different. Uh, trying to see basically if I can um, make more money in the morning than I do between between lunch and dinner. Um, and then, you know, take the afternoon off and do a kind of a split shift thing. Anyway, so I signed up for just, I'll give you a quick little rundown here why I decided to do it. I started working out again finally, and I'm horrible about getting moving in the morning. And I usually run into my first shift, my lunch shift, um, and it's kind of pointless to even go out uh, when I get finished until dinner time. So I'm not making the money that it should be, partly because it's my fault, partly because it's a little slower than normal. Um, <clears throat> and anyway, if you notice, I'm in a different car. I'm in a rental car. Somebody hit me. I don't know if you're paying attention that well to my videos if you're watching them. Um, and my, my phone mount on the vent sits a little higher and the radio sticks out farther. It makes the phone sit awkward. So I'm holding the phone. Anyway, that's all beside the point. Um, <clears throat> I first got a, a Walgreens order probably a couple weeks ago. And it said red card. I'm like, this is probably like Instacart where I got to actually go in and shop or Postmates, you know, when they do like a, a BP 7-Eleven or a um, CVS type thing. I got to go in and actually shop for it. And I was like, I'm not doing that because it was like five, six miles for four bucks. And I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm doing it. They, you know, they probably can't even tip on the app uh, to do that. Um, for those of you who've done it already, then obviously this, this um, video is not for you. But this is for people who are kind of on the fence about taking certain orders. I still don't take Walmart orders um, because I have not, I don't think I've gotten more than 50, 60% tipped um, after the fact on the Walmart orders because obviously Walmart, you can't tip through the app. So I was like, okay, if it's only $4, they can't tip through the app. They probably don't even understand it's DoorDash if they're doing it. They're probably ordering offline, click delivery and expecting a Walgreens employee to come drop it off. So I'm like, I'm not doing it. I got another one probably... I don't know, a, a little while later, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not taking it, because uh, it still wasn't worth it, uh, well, anyway, I'm on this morning shift, okay, I started about 9.30, um, and it hasn't been bad, but it's been sort of steady, at least on DoorDash, Grubhub gave me one order, and then, of course, that restaurant, <laughs> their tablet wasn't working properly, so I unassigned it, and called Grubhub, obviously, to make sure that um, they under, they know what's going on. Uh, so the order doesn't get passed around and passed around, passed around. Actually, they were making it anyway, so I, I understand I wasn't going to wait an extra 10 minutes, especially because I had a double DoorDash to go pick up. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so Grubhub hasn't gone off at all since that one, um, about <laughs> 10, 10 o'clock-ish. So uh, it's 11.16 right now, so about an hour or so ago. Um took that double door dash and then I'm driving and it goes off for the Walgreens for $10.25 with a total of three point ah no it was like two two to three miles and four items I'm like I can I that's fine I can handle that I'm like that's that's, that's a pretty good price for that um I don't see I don't foresee any reason why I can't get this done in, the, in less than a half hour to make sure I hit my 20 buck per hour average per delivery all right which obviously ten dollars would be half an hour's worth of time. So I got there at, I got the order at 10.52. I dropped it off probably about two minutes ago. It's 11.17 right now. So about 20 minutes max, okay, from from a, from accepting the order to completing the order. I'm not bad, okay? It was, it was like three different women's um, deodorants and a pack of razors. That's all it was. And I'm not familiar with picking that stuff up. So, uh, I had to make sure I verified everything, you know, to make sure it was right. So I st stood in the aisle for about five minutes just to make sure I, I grabbed all the exact right stuff. It was very clear and concise. So that's pretty nice. Um, went to the counter, paid for it with the red card, you know, just like you would, um, any, any, uh, red card order, uh, dropped it off the same way I'll drop off any food. So, uh, it was a base pay of seven twenty five with a three dollar tip. So my guess is that um, either they upped the price from before, or it got passed around a little bit before I even got it. Okay, 
So anyway, uh, just so you know, they can tip in the app, okay? Um, obviously, they can tip afterwards um, with cash. They can tip afterwards through the app as well. Uh, you should all know that by now, hopefully, if you're not new. If you're new, um, even if you don't get a tip um, ahead of time and you decide to take it, they can still tip afterwards. So even those Walmart orders, if you, if you so choose to take them, um, if, you, <laughs> if you choose to accept that mission... <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm a dork. Um, they can still tip afterwards. I've gotten in-app tips afterwards from the a couple of the Walmart orders I've taken. Uh, most of the Walmart orders I've taken, I've gotten cash afterwards if I got tipped. Okay, most of the Walmart orders I've taken, I have not gotten tipped for, so I don't like taking them. Um, plus, I don't want to risk waiting around for you know 20 minutes a half hour if they're busy for five dollars with no guaranteed tips. So that's why I don't do the Walmart orders. So the Walgreens orders. Um, I will probably continue to take at this point uh, as long as they continue to be decently paid um, like that, which is like anything else, okay? I don't take things that aren't worth my time. Um, I hope you guys don't either. Uh, and if you are the ones that take the things that aren't worth your time, uh, I'm going to say thank you because then I don't have to take them <laughs> and I can make more money, all right? Um, so <laughs> I'm not trying to be an ass about it, but uh, anyway... Um, that being said, the Walmart, Wal, not the Walmart, the Walgreens orders are not that uh, bad. Obviously, if you get, if you've done Instacart, obviously you've done your own shopping. Um, it's not horrible. I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> grab one for eight, nine, ten dollars, twelve dollars if it's got like a list, you know, a shopping list on there. Okay, I have no problem running in, grabbing four, five items, six items, maybe ten items. Um, uh, for the price, I, I, I would personally say, um, on top of the, the mileage. So if you guys do a dollar per mile, um, you know, I always do, I, I try to figure it out to be, to be 20 bucks an hour per delivery. Okay. So if it's $10, I, it should take me no more than a half hour to complete from the time I accept it to the time that I complete it. All right. Uh, and I include about five minutes worth of time. So obviously you got to include a little extra time for shopping around uh, to make that work. But um, it's not bad if it pays well. Okay. So anyway, I'm finally getting a Grubhub order, which is cool because my block for uh, DoorDash just ended and starts again in about 10 minutes. So see ya.